Tibetan Kling Mosque in general, we know that it is used for worship purpose. We should know that this Kapitan Kling Mosque was built 220 years ago and it played an important role in the influence of Islam to the Penang community at that time. There are many philosophies behind the construction of the dome in the mosque. Among them, it is a symbol of the greatness, greatness of the God. And besides of that, it is symbolized the unity of Muslims in the mosque. If we look at the dome of this captain's mosque, we will see there is a star of David, which many of us consider it as a symbol of Israel or Jew, but in fact it is a symbol used by the ancient Arab society. This is proof of the influence of the Arabs in the state of Penang in spreading Islam. Sesungguhnya Allah mengasihi orang-orang yang banyak bertawabat dan mengasihi orang-orang yang sentiasa mensucikan diri. Al-Baqarah vers 222. From this ayah, we know that Islam is very concerned about our cleanliness in our life. Therefore, worship place need to be as clean as possible from any dirt. Cleanliness in Islam is not rigid to the worship place only but also has been applied to the toilet, shower and surrounding. Masjid Kopitiam Kling is not only has a clean worship area but the toilet also depends from other such restaurant and public toilet. Furthermore, the surrounding also free from rubbish and the mosque also provide many dustbin to encourage people to take care of our environment. Benefit of a clean surrounding is not limited to the personal comfort only but it also prevent us and the nearest society from many diseases such as Aedes, Clara and food poisoning. From hadis Muslim and Tarmizi, Inna Allah Hajamil wa Yuhibbul Jamal mean Allah is beautiful and love beauty. So it's no wonder that human as his creature also love to see something beautiful. This mosque also have a beautiful form, facade and full of ornament. There are many ornaments that represent earth such as flower, leaf and roots. Furthermore, Al-Quran also always remind us about Al-Ardu which means earth. Other than that, it also contains geometrical ornament that shows Islam Golden Empire back to Khalifa conquest. This mosque also attract many non-Muslims to learn about Islam with its design. It is the first permanent Muslim institution to have been established in the area dating from the early 18s. Killing is a Malay term for people of Indian origin, nowadays considered offensive but not so considered at the time when the mosque was built. This mosque is a cultural heritage building that have been in Penang for more than 200 years. It has been conserved in the Masjid Kapitan Keling area have a graveyard on the left side of the mosque, while around the mosque area include shops, houses, kindergarten and food stalls such as the famous Nasi Kana Brato. This is a strategic location as it helps Muslim at the shop or food stall to perform prayers without going through the hectic route too far from their workplace as Penang have a busy road. Moreover, the mosque has been serviced well and regularly as the area was very clean and spotless. There were little to no damage could be seen. The roof did been fixed for a couple of times because of leaking during heavy rain due to the presence of a lot of holes but it has been renewed and redesigned to imitate the actual roof yet has been installed with the best material mainly from Australia. It also preserved the original well and the authentic Muslim, Mughal and Moorish design of its original mosque. You can see the interaction with each other happening when they enter the mosque. The atmosphere inside the mosque becomes more lively when it comes to obligatory prayer, prayers. At that, step, at that time, more and more people would come and visit the mosque. After performing the prayers, some of them will sit in groups chatting and interacting with each other. In fact, the Kapitan Kelly Mosque can be used as a place for recreation and a place to meet 
because there is a large environment and courtyard around the mosque. The Kapitan Kuning Mosque preserves the, the rights of each other. This can be seen with our own eyes when the rights of the surrounding community are protected and not treated by any party. Most of the people they are Muslim, but they are uh, Muslims. They live in peace and make the mosque a gathering place. The Kapitan Kelim Mosque became a trigger to the glory of Islamic history in Malaysia and around the world. This shows humans should take care and ensure that historical buildings remain intact for future generations. This teaches us the value to appreciate the history more deeply. We will not destroy and this a history if we value it as best as possible. In conclusion, the Capitan Kelly Mosque is a historic building and should be preserved uh, anytime.